Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the A with Life Quick Tips. And this time I want to talk about automatic updates and what you can do about that. And also about downgrading your life version in case of crashes. The reason why I'm talking about this now is that with Life 11.3, some people, not all people, had issues with crashes and things not working correctly. And uh, I saw in Ableton Facebook groups and so on that people were asking what they could do about this and they didn't actually know what was possible. So this is why I'm going to cover this today. So the first thing is we can go into the live preferences with command or control comma. And then here you can see under maintenance, get automatic updates. And I've currently set it to never because I chose to actually install Life 11.2, the latest version, and then Life 11.3, the latest version separately, just in case because I was working on important things. And since some people reported issues, I thought I'd just be safe. So I've set it to never. The other option is ask me. So whenever an update is available, when you start Life, it would ask you if you want to update or not. And then you could jump on the internet and check out what others are saying, for example. Or you could set it to always, so it just automatically updates every single time, with very few exceptions. But then Ableton would make this clear. So you have the choice what you set, if you want to always get the updates or not. So for example, now I've set it to never. If I set it to always now, the next time life starts, it would download the latest version in the background and then update as usual. So you always have a choice to kind of do this later on. But let's say that you have automatic updates running and you have issues with a new update, whether that's right now or in the future, then um, what you can do is you can actually downgrade life. And we're going to have a look at that right now. And so I'm going to uh, my internet browser and I've already logged into my user account and just wanted to show you where you can get to previous versions of life. And this is in your user account under licenses and packs. Here it says you can download previous live versions from the download archives. So we're going to click on this. And here you can see all the versions. So here the latest of life 11.3 is 11.3.3 and you can download your respective version or even a different one if you ever need this. And you can see it goes down way, way back, all the way to the beginning. Life 1.5.2 is the earliest version. Technically, you can install all of them if you ever want them. Have a look if it actually works uh, on your new computer still. So technically you could do this. Uh, you won't be able to authorize old live versions unless you have a license going back that far. So yeah, here you can see all the live versions. And so here, for example, with Life 11, you can go back. And that's uh, particularly helpful if you have crashes or so going on. So I could say like, okay, well, we're on 11, Point two point eleven, but the latest version, and we could download this in case you're having trouble with 11.3.3. What you can do is you can install different versions of Life alongside each other. So that's not a problem. So you can keep your current version, even if it's crashing, you know, just let it sit there, wait for an update that fixes the issue and have an older version installed alongside that you can use in the meantime. The only thing you have to consider, like we've been getting quite a lot of updates with new features added, which is great because we don't have to wait for an upgraded version that needs to be paid for, but we actually get free updates with free new features quite regularly now. But a downside of this is that while we're getting new features, the backward compatibility is reduced. So for example, if you have been doing things in Life 11.3 and you've been saving a life set, then this won't open in Life 11.2 anymore because we had new features like Drift and so on. And so this is something to consider. But there's always a chance you can downgrade when you update a version, any new version that is not backward compatible 
then what Live does usually is ask you to save it as a new file. So you should have a previous version that you can go back to. You still might lose things, you might have to kind of rebuild things, but at least you have the file and then once the newer version is fixed, you can open it up and then combine things again. Yeah, well, that's it. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.